What is good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with some major fire news regarding Dragon Ball Fighters, guys. But before we get that started, huge shout out to Shonen Games because they're the ones that put out this information and usually where I get my information regarding Dragon Ball Fighters or new DLC content for Xenoverse. Basically any kind of anime game, they always got the news on it. So huge, huge shout out to Shonen Games for that, guys. If you want to check out this webpage in particular, link will be down below in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. But let's get into the news we got regarding regarding fighters today and that includes a release date DLC characters the amount that we're gonna get what the different additions that you can purchase will come with and how much those additions will cost but first let's get into the release date part where it says the Xbox store has granted us some new information on Dragon Ball fighters and it is very exciting it seems like Dragon Ball fighters will be releasing on February 1st 2018 in Japan which we thought was the uh, national release date a week ago however though in the US, the game will be releasing on January 26th. Thank God we get some early. That's absolutely hype, but let's continue reading on. And it says this means fans in the US will be getting a game, be getting the game nearly a week earlier than our Japanese counterparts. This isn't the first time Bandai have released a game first in the US and then in their Japanese markets. Naruto Storm 3 released on March 5th, 2013 in the US. However, Japan didn't get the game until April 13th, 2013, which is over a month later on, which I'm honestly surprised about. Because I didn't play Naruto Storm 3 at that time. Like, I didn't get it right away when it dropped. So, I didn't know that we got in the U.S. before Japan. But, this was very shocking to me due to the fact that usually, Japan, any kind of anime-based game or a game that originated in Japan, they usually get it way before us, if anything. Like, it's never really happened to where we get the game first. Obviously, it has one other time. But, besides that, they usually get games way earlier than we do for the most part. So I was really hyped to see this, the fact that we're actually getting the game before them. That was extremely hype right there. But I know a lot of people in Europe are going to have questions because there's nothing about a European release date. I'm guessing that the European release date will coincide with the US. That's what I'm guessing and hoping because I know I have a lot of fans that watch the channel that are from Europe. So I'm guessing and hoping that you guys will also be getting it on the 26th. Just stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have some news regarding that pretty soon. But now let's talk about the actual different additions of the game that you can purchase and buy but before that if you pre-order the game and like no matter what edition you buy you get super saiyan blue and goku i mean super saiyan blue goku and vegeta as usable characters super saiyan blue or goku and vegeta lobby avatars you know the little chibi characters as you guys can see at the bottom where it says two has the two little chibi characters right there and then you also get a girl's z stamp set as you guys see you get some z stamps that include android 18 bulma and 21 even though 18 already has her own z stamps i'm sure she'll have some like exclusive ones with that pre-order bonus right there but let's actually talk about what you're going to be getting with each and um every single edition of this game if you just get the base version all you get obviously is the base game and if you pre-order you get all the pre-order bonuses but if you get the fighters edition you'll be getting the base game fighters pass featuring eight new dlc characters yes you heard that right eight characters and early ac access to the open beta in january which is very similar to what xenoverse did if you pre-ordered xenoverse you had early access to the open beta but if you didn't you only got access to the open beta when everybody else had access to it as well so it's very similar to that in that sense so basically guys if you pre-order the game you can hope for like the first or second week in january we will be getting the beta for dragon ball fighters for sure but now let's get into the ultimate edition which i will be buying most likely for sure no doubt in my mind you get the base game, the fighters pass featuring 8 new DLC characters, an anime music pack, songs from the game, commentator voice pack, and early access to the open beta in January. I'm most likely going to be getting that one or if there, I believe there's a different one that comes with like a Super Saiyan 3 Goku or a Super Saiyan Goku figure. I don't know yet, um, but let's get into the pricing regarding these additions that they've shown us today. The base edition is going to cost $59.99, you know, it's just a regular game like always most new games that come out for PS4 and Xbox One are usually $59.99. The Fighters edition, however, will cost $94.99 and will come a season pass which will give you access to 8 new DLC characters as they're released. This is the first time that we've um, received confirmation on Z uh, DLC characters, so it's very exciting. And then the Ultimate Edition costs $109.99 uh, and offers the most as it comes with all the pre-order bonuses, early access to open beta, but also the season pass and anime music pack that features 11 songs from the anime 
and a commentator voice patch voice pack which will likely allow you to change the commentator for your matches so honestly that's pretty dope right there but again i do believe there's like an edition above that where you get this um the legendary edition or something like the collector's edition where you get a super saiyan goku figure that's the one that i'm most likely getting but here are the three editions that you can get besides that like collector's edition and honestly to me based off the pricing and what you get I'd probably say I'll go with the Fighters Edition at first. I thought the Ultimate one was the one that included the figure. That's why I said I was going to get that one. But if you're not looking to get the figure, honestly, I would go for the Fighters Edition because it's a whole $15 less than the um, Ultimate. And you're only losing out on songs, some uh, BGM music, and a commentator voice pack, which... Uh, in the end, is it really worth $15 to pay for songs and a commentator voice pack? To me, it's really not, unless they have some dope commentary with the, the voice packs. And even then, it's still really not worth $15 just for that. So honestly, if you're not looking to get the collector's edition with the Super Saiyan Goku figure, I'd say go after the fighter's edition right there. Again, that's $94.99, but you have access to the season pass. And of course, you get all the... Uh, um, the open beta early access as well so definitely i would go with that one but i may be still going with the fighters edition even if you know say the collector's edition doesn't give you early access to the open beta which i don't see why it wouldn't i would definitely be going with the fighters edition over the ultimate edition the 11 musics the 11 bgms and the commentator voice pack again it just doesn't really seem worth 15 dollars to me but let me know which edition you will be getting down below and if you'll be getting the collector's edition if it does have access to um early open beta in january because if it does that's the version i'll be getting and i'll keep you guys updated on that as well but as always man thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think on the release date the amount of dlc characters and the pricing for this game down below and again as always thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you guys have a good day peace y'all